Welcome to another edition of SoCal Sense. I'm Jeff, and today I'm going to be talking to you about my three favorite fresh fragrances that were released in the year 2022. So this year, top three freshies. Um, I'll do some honorable mentions as well, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll talk about my three my 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 three favorites. Uh, the first honorable mention is actually going to be Y Eau de Toilette 2022. Now, this is going to be an honorable mention because there's not a lot that changed from the original Y E D T to the new Y E D T. In fact, they're basically the same fragrance. They had to reformulate it for reasons. Um, because they had to pull ingredients from it and they changed the ingredients. So instead of doing all that, just reformulating, they relaunched it as technically a new fragrance. It's just getting an honorable mention because it smells like 95% the same and why already is, smells great. So I'm giving it as an honorable mention. The next honorable mention is going to be Le Mal Pride Edition 2022 by Jean-Paul Gaudier. Now, I like this fragrance. Not everybody's going to like this fragrance. It's fun. It's playful. It's orange orange blossom and has a soapy undertone to it. So if you've ever experienced the freshies from the Lamal category, this is a nice addition to the fresh side of that. And it's just a fun, playful, unique scent. It's not gonna be for everybody. If you do smell it and like it, I think you'll enjoy it though. Um, so this is my next honorable mention. Now, let's get into my top three. And I don't really do these lists because I figured at the end of this year, let's let's add a little bit different content. So I might as well do my favorite threes because you always hear the girls uh, opinions and I, I want, maybe you'll like to hear my opinion of this. And coming in at number three. So this was actually number two and number three were real hard for me to decide which ones I wanted to do. And so I went with Jean Varvados XX Artisan Teal. Now Artisan Teal for me, is fantastic. It's a candied citrus sitting on a soft aquatic. So a candied citrus, soft aquatic. It's versatile. It's fresh. I wore this a ton. It can go to school. It can go to work. It can go to the gym. Honestly, I wore this today. It was cold outside. It worked great. I love me some versatile freshies. In fact, all three of the ones that I picked are versatile fresh fragrances. Because to me, the versatile fresh fragrances are the ones you can wear pretty much whenever and you're gonna smell really good, especially if you like the freshies. So versatility to me is always gonna be key. Because there are, you have your high summer heat ones, but all these work in pretty much any situation, which I love. And this one just smells really, really good. Now people do compare this one to Y, and every time I featured this in the video, I made sure that it was competing against a different Y fragrance, and none of the guests thought this smelled like Y, nor do I think it smells like Y. Um, but it's very nice, it wears very nice, and you can spray it heavy, you can spray your skin, spray your clothes, always spray skin and clothes if you wanna get the best reactions. But yeah, this comes in at my number three. My number two. This was hard between two and three, but I'm going with Atlantis by Blue Atlas. Now, this was hard for me because this one is unique and is different. It sits on you like a second skin. So it sits very close to you. It smells like peach and apricot and there's sage in it, but the sage kind of gives the peach and apricot almost this fuzzy minty feel to it. So think of like the peach skin, how it's got that fuzzy feel to it. That's kind of what this fragrance gives off when you smell it. So to me, it was peach, apricot, minty feel. And it sits close to the skin, so if you're expecting someone to smell you from 10 feet away, this is not it. But this is something that everyone who I've come in contact with, I've worn it a bunch, has noticed it. When you give someone a hug, they're gonna notice, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, you smell really good. When you walk past them, they're gonna smell it and they're gonna think you smelled really good. And I like that, like I, I've worn it to work and it was there from seven to six in the afternoon but it sits close to the skin. So that's my only thing that I wanna tell you guys about is it sits close to the skin, but it's so unique and different that I really, really dig this one. So this is uh, Atlantis by Blue Atlas. I have had two guests smell it on the channel, both really, really liked it. I am gonna get a third guest and then put them all together and then push it out into a single video because let's face it, this fragrance is everywhere. It's on all these lists, it's on GQ and all this stuff. They've sent bottles to everyone, they sent me a bottle but I wanna have you guys get the most real reactions from this fragrance. So I will put another guest on this fragrance for you soon. 
But my number two was Atlantis by Blue Atlas. Am I my number one? For those of you that tune into the live chats, you know this is no secret. This is my most worn fragrance of the year by far. Like it's not even close. And it is my favorite fresh fragrance and I love it because it's fresh and it's versatile. And this is Lacoste Blanc Eau Fresh. This one smells like citrus with a pickled ginger accord. And I absolutely love this. You can spray your skin, you can spray your clothes, you can spray this one heavy. If you wanted to spray seven to 10 times, I wouldn't fault you. You'd smell good. It wouldn't be overpowering or any of that. And people would think you smell great. This is one of my most complimented fragrances of the year because I've worn it so much. It it was an instant love for me. And if whenever I finish this bottle, I will try my hardest to make sure I get another one of it. I like it that much just because it's it's really pleasant. It's a really pleasant, fresh and versatile fragrance. And that's my favorite thing about these three fragrances is fresh and versatile. You can't go wrong with fresh and versatile, especially if you like fresh fragrances. And if you live in a warmer climate, fresh versatiles always gonna slap hard. If you live in a more mixed climate, those fresh versatiles will allow you to push into some different seasons. And you can wear fresh versatiles year round indoors for school and work, which is great. So this video is a little different. I never really do my top three, but just to give you an idea of what I like, you can see the reactions to all three of these with guest reactions, including the honorable mentions. The honorable mentions have also been featured with the guests. And all five that I've talked about today have gotten amazing reactions from our uh, female guests. So if you want something fresh, you want something versatile, I highly recommend checking these out. I will also do a list featuring my top three favorite versatile fragrances of the year and the anytime, any occasion fragrances. And I'll also do a list featuring my favorite warm, sweet fragrances of the year. So tune into those soon. All right, guys.